Rightio, time to find a winner on a Wednesday or a Tuesday. If you're Gannon and you're giving us two of the best, not just one of the best like Dean and I are having a blood. So, Gannon, let's come to you saying you've got the good oil for not only Wednesday, but also Tuesday as well. You've got two bets to play. What are they going to be? You know what I'm like, Louis, a little bit sick. Better day keeps the, uh, I don't know, something away. Anyway, let's go. Campbell the Grange, race two, number eight, nautical miss. Desperately unlucky at Hawkesbury, a couple back. We'll let it go around for another run. Thought we'll let that slide. Christian's still on board. We'll let that, I'll leave that alone. But surely, surely tomorrow we'll be winning. It's the best horse in the race. Um, met a couple better last start, but should be winning. And it will probably start red figures. So nautical miss, Campbell out, race two, number eight. Looks a good thing. There you go, boys. Then we're going to head to Hawkesbury on Wednesday. Look. Not an area I do my finest work, but I think we've found a, a, another another horse that's going to jump out of the ground here. Hawksby race one, number two, Deep Expectation, named after uh, Dean Watling. $2.80 at the moment, boys. $2.80. Likely starts in the red as well. Wasn't far off Dino's tip, and mind you, wasn't it a good tip, Willinger Beast? Oh, Dean, I thought we were home. Oh, oh. I can't believe it. 2.32 off Willinger Beast, gets Nash on board. Nash is the man for the job. Um, horse is a bit of a mess, but Nash will sort it out. In secret, looks a sneaky uh, exact to play too. Number five with J-Mac on board, been on, top, been on top for the two trials. So there you go, punters. There's two best bets for me and a sneaky exacto. We could probably call that three. Dana? Yeah, yes, so I'll go to Hawkesbury. Royal Hawkesbury on a Wednesday. How good. Uh, race three, number one, probably uh, the best thing to come out of Hawkesbury on Wednesday will be Norwegian Bliss. Um, four from four, loves it first up. Nathan Doyle, sorry, has an outstanding first up record. J-Mac on, has to carry the big weight, but she's better than this lot. And it's probably the biggest push for mine. They uh, didn't go down the path for the provincial and midway championship because they got this horse aimed at bigger um, things. So I think it'll end to Br- Brisbane or Queensland after this. Um, but I really like this girl. She is quality. So race three, number one, Norwegian Bliss around that 250 price should get us a winner on a Wednesday. Louis, what do you got for us at Geelong? Yes. Yeah, so going to Geelong, I, if this has seriously happened in the last few seconds as I was looking at the form here, I was going to tip you race three, number one, Dunn Warrior, a Price and Kent Jr. horse. Jamie Carr's booked a ride, ran third at Sandown on debut. It was really, really good, good sectionals. Uh, and as I was, as you guys were talking, the odds have gone up and it's a dollar and fifty cents. So moving on, we're going to go to <laughs> Ray, take a number. take a dollar fifty in the fiver, mate. It's be for something for the punters. We might get two bucks out of it. That there is. Yeah, look, without I haven't really uh, – there's a few debutants in it, but they've come up long. Yeah, look, this shouldn't be beaten, this thing, Dun Warrior. So if you want to throw it in with fiber and do a little multi, go ahead. But I will tip you on at better odds. Uh, Heroic Chief in race seven at Geelong on Wednesday. Uh, barrier 10 ran really well at Geelong here. First up, ran third behind Naples. And it was a big price there. It was $19. And because of that, it's gone up about $8 at the moment. It should be much shorter. This is not a, a very hard race. And second up, where it's had two attempts, second up for two minor placings. So obviously runs well at this stage of its prep. Uh, and I think the wide draw is actually quite suitable for it. We'll probably get back in the field and run home. So Heroic Chief in the seventh. And if you're looking for a real shorty, the top weight in the third, Dun Warrior. Um, but uh, yeah, two from Geelong. There you go, punters. Not only is he the uh, best sports broadcaster since Bruce McAvaney, he's also a gun tipster. So jump on those, put him in a multi, maybe a three by four multi. One of mine might fall over. 